Welcome to Ukenic. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot and do a live data on Audis and more specifically from the accessory or the start control module. So, you know, when you get inside the car and you press that start button, if that doesn't work, for example, um, this is what you need to look at. So, you go to diagnostics, select um, Audi from the list. Uh, you can select the model here. You know, there's a lot of models that are supported, and it's a long list. So, to make that quick, you can select Smart VIN. That uh, picks up the VIN number of the vehicle and then it auto identifies the model. So, Audi Q7, this is a USA model, engine is 3.0 turbo. I'm going to press OK on the down here. Go to Diagnostics, go to Control Modules, go to uh, Control Module of 5, ACC, Start Authentication Control System, and enter that. So, for example, if your Audi doesn't recognize the key, it won't start when you press that Start button. Uh, this is where you would come. You can read the codes. If they see there's any codes regarding that here, you can see. Got a couple of full codes here, passenger door handle touch sensor uh, is not working and right rear door handle touch sensor is not working as well. Um, so these are active, um, static, so these codes need to be addressed. So that probably th that door um, handle touch sensor is defective or maybe it's unplugged on the back or the wires are damaged to it, but um, if if there was an old error code, then it would have just say stored here, and we could have just come down here and gone back here and then clear codes. In this case, we can't clear them because they're still active. We gotta be emission oil engine not running. They need to be, um, we need to address that issue before we can clear them. You can see the ECU information down here. You can see things like the part numbers software version, encoding, and so on. But what's something that's very helpful is if you go to live data, and you can we can go to cost, a custom list, and you can see here the different data you can stream, the voltages, brake light switch. So if your car is not starting, you press that start button and it's just refusing to be recognized. It's good to look at some of this uh, data here key authorize and authentication what we'll do is we'll select all down here there's a lot of data we're only going about halfway through but you can see there's over like 90 almost 100 or over 100 uh, different data being monitored that by that control system and then if you hit ok you can see that data live so if you were to open a door and close it this uh, that's that doors, you know, um, status will change from open to close and so on. Brake light switch is currently not pressed. If you press the brake light switch, this will change to from off to on. And you can see now it does take a second to, you can see the voltage there, for example, uh, changing just because the car is not running right now, for example, and it's dropping a little bit. But uh, as, as you change the different doors, buttons, you press them, they automatically get updated here. So, and then one other thing you can do, in some cases it helps to look at the graph. So you can look at a couple graphs, multi-graph, and then you can select the data from here compared to some other data. This is the same list we saw earlier. So you can see, select any of the sensors you want, and you can even merge them together. And you can merge, look at up to four data points in a graph format. But that's it. If your Audi is not starting, your keyless start is not working, take a look at the um, ACC start authentication control system. Thank you for watching. You can't what you can be the mechanic.